The other day I was doing a wind test with the Mavic Air 2 and a message that I hadn't seen before popped up telling me that due to the strong wind, uh, automatic return to home would not be possible and that I should descend and land manually as soon as possible. As it was, I was doing a wind test, so I didn't actually uh, land. But it did get me thinking, was that message telling me that in high wind, when you see that message, it wouldn't even bother trying to get into a return to home, or if you lost signal or the battery was getting critically low, uh, would it at least try to return to home and do its very best? Well, it's a bit of a windy old nasty day today. I'm gonna send it up, try and get that message again, try and do a return to home and see what happens. I also want to see whether or not the 12 meter per second return to home speed is um, maintained even if it's having to fly into strong wind. I know the top speed of the Mavic Air is much higher than 12 meters per second, it's 42 miles an hour, I think it's about 18, 19 meters per second, uh, but the return to home speed is set at 12 meters per second. So to me, the thrust capacity is there to actually enable it to fly at 12 meters per second, even if it's having to fly into a strong wind. Again, let's find out. Right, let's get up in the air and then initiate a manual return to home. Bit of a grey old day. Right, so I'm going to go up quite high. I'm actually going to do this time as well is fly in a position that means that when I initiate the return to home it's actually going to fly into the wind. Now down here on the ground we've probably got winds of around 20-25 miles an hour. Up there it's going to be a lot higher. So let's just try and see how we get on. Okay so I've got that strong wind warning. And the phone is vibrating so let's see if I can get it into return to home mode. <clears throat> right so the return to home speed is not the 12 meters per second it's pretty much only managing five four meters per second. Now if I was to cancel the return to home mode and flip it into sports mode all right so he is struggling I've got that strong wind warning again now so let's just try Okay, so it definitely goes into return to home mode. Interesting, when I chain came out of sports mode, it cancelled the return to home. So it's a little bit wobbly there on his landing. So um, that's quite interesting. So yes, uh, when you see that message saying that it cannot return to home, uh, it will still enter the return to home mode, which is reassuring. So I mean, that could happen if you're on a, a low, critical low battery or it's lost signal. So at least uh, despite the wind, it will still enter the return to home mode. However, you need to take heed of that wind warning. The normal return to home speed is 12 meters per second. Uh, I had purposely flown in a direction that was making it to fly into the strong wind in order to do that return to home and you could see that it was only managing around four or five meters per second. So what should you do if you're seeing that message and you're seeing that it's struggling to return to home? Well don't panic, uh, first of all put it into sports mode, the maximum speed is 19 meters per second, much faster and you'll probably overcome the wind uh, anyway with that, but of course straight away you should do descend because the wind speeds uh, up high are often going to be two, three times as strong as they are on the ground. It's already a very windy day down here. 
So uh, as I said, you don't panic, you put it in sports mode and you descend to uh, maybe about 20 meters high and you should be able to uh, get home. The worst comes to the worst though, and it's still not coming back. And I do think that's very unlikely because the Mavic Air 2 can handle very strong wind. But if you do find that it is not returning to home under any circumstances, then uh, before it blows away, you need to do a controlled landing. So tilt the camera down, make sure that you've got a nice flat area and uh, just land it and then use the Find My Drone function to uh, have it lead you right to where the drone actually landed. So a couple of interesting points really to uh, take on board there. When it's in return to home mode, even though sports mode would allow it to fly at 19 meters per second uh, and normal mode is only 12 meters per second, if it's fighting a strong wind, then uh, it is not necessarily gonna make up that speed and it will struggle back at four, three, even two meters per second. Like I said, the Mavic Air 2 can handle strong wind very well, but it's not invincible. And uh, considering the amount you've paid for it, best not to take too many risks. Anyway, look, very quick video today. Uh, hopefully that's put your mind at rest if you do see that uh, message pop up, but it also uh, you now have an idea of what you should actually do to make sure you can get uh, your Mavic Air 2 back home safe and sound. As ever, you know the rule, click the thumbs up if you like this sort of stuff, uh, hit the sub, ding the dong, all helps the cause. Either way, until next time, stay safe and sane, have fun and happy flying.